Module 14. Method of scoring in goal. The definition of in goal is the area between the goal line and the dead ball line and between the two touch in goal lines. It includes the goal line but it does not include the touch and goal lines or the dead ball line. In goal is the part of the ground where the ball may be grounded by players from either team. When attacking players are first to ground the ball in the opponent's end goal, the attacking players score a try. When defending players are first to ground the ball in end goal, the defending players make a touchdown. There are two ways to ground the ball. Number one, carrying the ball. Where a player is carrying the ball and he touches the ground with the ball, it must be in either the field of play or in end goal. Number two, if the player is not carrying the ball and he presses down on the ball with his hand or hands, arm or arms, body between waist and neck inclusive. Now this person can be out. Scoring a try. The base of the goalpost padding are part of in goal. If a player places the ball here, he scores a try. On the goal line is part of in goal, and that's a try. Where a ruck is formed and the ball is on the goal line, the ruck is ended and any player can ground the ball. If it's an attacking player, it's a try. Where a player is tackled short of the line and he can reach out and place the ball in one movement on the goal line, that's a try. And where a player is in touch or a touch in goal and not carrying the ball, they can reach out and ground the ball and score a try. Remembering, of course, that if a defending player performs any of those same actions, it results in a touchdown. Ball made dead, touch in goal or held up. If an attacking team puts the ball into in goal, a 22 meter dropout is awarded. If it is kicked and goes dead, the defending team also have the option of a scrum where the kick was taken from. If a defending team puts the ball into in goal and the ball is made dead, touch in goal or held up, it's a five meter scrum attacker's ball. Notes. A scrum can take place no closer than 5 metres from the goal line and 5 metres from the touch line. When a ruck or maul goes into in goal, the ruck or maul ends. The method of scoring is as follows. A try or a penalty try is worth 5 points. A conversion is worth 2 points. A penalty goal is worth 3 points and a drop goal is worth 3 points. A goal is where a player scores a goal by kicking the ball over an opponent's crossbar and between the goalposts. That brings us to the end of module 14. Please now take a moment to complete the assessment on page 44 of your workbook. And that concludes the introduction to rugby refereeing course for first year referees.